So here in Dubai, we are in the middle of the semi-finals. And here comes our next semi-final, the last semi-final in the uh, women's recurve, the uh, classic, the traditional bow, of course, that you see here. And it's between the Indian competitor, Dola Banerjee, and the Russian, Nat Natalia Erdineva. Erdineva, just 19 years old. She is the uh, niece, by the way, of a man you'll see shortly, Balinima Tizrimpilov, who is uh, in good form in the men's recurve. There's the Indian competitor. Banerjee, first place in the last qualifying event, first place in Dover in England on the uh, White Cliffs of Dover, south coast, of course, by the English Channel. An average of 105.63. And her Russian counterpart is topping the World Cup rankings. Got the bronze medal in the World Championships this year. The uh, championships are held every two years, the World Cup every year, of course. Next year, a very big year for the recurve men and women, because the recurve, only the recurve, go to the Olympic Games. So a big chance to get uh, an Olympic medal. Anyway, it's the Indian to start this match. And she starts it with an eight. Not what she would have wanted, ideally. Banerjee with the site next to her. So she can check what she's uh, done there. And in the Eva with an eight as well. So honors even after the first arrow of 12. Just in the eight, just falling a little bit short there. So a chance for Erdinieva to take an advantage, and she can't do it. Another eight. The breeze has gone up here a little bit around the uh, Madnat Jamira. Banerjee then. Oh, better. It's a nine. And she'll just check that herself. So, Erdineva needs to up her game as well. And she doesn't. Down in the sevens. You just wonder whether the breeze that always gets up here at the Madden in the afternoon has uh, just made a bit of a difference there. 25 for the Indian Banerjee against 23 for Erdineva. Erdine <laughs> Let's try that again. Erdineva. The uh, Russian contingent, by the way, had a problem at uh, customs getting their uh, arrows through. But a uh, quick explanation from the uh, FITA officials, the uh, world governing body. And luckily, they were able to bring their arrows and their bows through and uh, get an extra practice session. The uh, practice uh, event, by the way, the practice uh, course is just to the left through the uh, palm trees. It's over water. It's very picturesque. Can't get many spectators down there. So we have the equally picturesque amphitheater here with the, the crowd just starting to fill up after lunch. Just in the nine for Erdinieva who is uh, from the far east of uh, Russia, along with her uncle, of course, who you'll see a bit later on. Yeah. Banerjee keeping her advantage. 34 to 32 at the moment. Two-point advantage. And it's a fast-moving game, this one. Eight for the uh, Russian. They only get 20 seconds. A lot of archery events, you get 30 seconds, a lot longer to compose yourself, but you've got to be on your game here. And an eight for Banerjee. So, Odiniev. A 10, first one. And uh, there are oh, five or six Russian fans. You may be able to hear just uh, five or six feet away from me, really getting behind their team. There's a big uh, expat Indian population here. 
I'm slightly more reserved, has to be said. So she loses a point there, nine points to ten, and it's overall at the uh, halfway mark, 51 points for Dola Banaji, uh, playing 50 points for Natalia Erdenieva. Banaji, you can see there from uh, Kolkata in India, another one who is uh, at university. Udinieva, studying economics. Both uh, relative youngsters. 19 years old for Udinieva, very young, of course. Uh, Banaji, by that example, is a bit of a veteran. She is uh, 27 years old. And it's the youngster, the teenager, who will start this second part of this match. On target one, and on target herself. Yeah. That'll put some pressure on uh, Banerjee. We've seen a lot of these uh, matches so far that uh, it hasn't been unrecoverable if you're behind after six arrows. Wow. And there we are. We're all square. Excellent. 60, play 60. Seven arrows. And uh, a big deep breath from Banerjee as she uh, waits for another good arrow from her opponent. And uh, Erdenieva just putting the pressure on Banerjee. Can she come back? She took a very deep breath there, composing herself. Needs a 10, really. And it is a 10. Her uh, Indian Olympic hat at a jaunty angle. Different type of headwear for the Russian. The uh, temperature here in the uh, low 30s, I'd say. So still pretty warm. Nine for the Russian. Here's a chance for Banerjee. She can get a 10 just to edge back into the lead here. Ten. It is a 10. And that point needs to go down it's unofficial, but it's a one-point lead. At the three-quarter mark, one of uh, Erden and Eva's arrows has to be checked to see whether it's a nine or a ten. At the moment, the scoreboard is saying 78 to 80. I think it is actually 79 to 80. Yep, she's been bumped up to 79, the uh, Russian. So there is less uh, lee leeway for the uh, Indian Banerjee. Three arrows to go. Three arrows to book your place into the final. Adenieva. It's a nine. A ten here would be most useful for Banerjee. That will make it uh, a two-point advantage with two arrows to go. Oh, almost a 10, but that is the uh, margin of success and failure. Still a point ahead. Two arrows to go. 88 plays 89. Oh, and that's what you need when you're a point behind with two arrows to go. A 10. And Banerjee really needs to respond in kind. That's how far she's got to go. Just 12 centimetres is the target she's looking at. And that's perfect from the Indian. So one ahead with one arrow to go. Needs a 10. You really do need to put the pressure on your opponent in this situation. Uh oh, and that's an eight. That's disappointing. So a little bit of pressure raised from Banerjee. 10, 9, or an 8 will do it for her. That's uh, a big target. And... That's good enough. It's a nine. And the Indian goes through the 27 year old. Well, Choi versus Banerjee. That's the uh, final lineup. 
Yeah. Should be an interesting one, and it's Erdunieva against Zhang, Russia against China for the bronze medal playoff.